This is how I live, I live. This is what I love of. This is all the things that my dreams have been made of Welcome to my life This is what I love This is what the soundtrack to my life is made of Music love life Crystal Jordan, be honest, and myself, Kevin Davis, we are Music Love Life, and welcome to another episode. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, right now. What the hell? What is wrong with y'all? <laughs> what no, what is wrong with you? <laughs> I can't even look. Like, for, I'm just not going to look at you. For our listeners who are not viewing, I'm going to need you to go to the website <laughs> or YouTube, and if, if you've never watched it before... <laughs> You got to watch it this time because it's... Can you explain? It's basically what has <laughs> happened is Kevin's hotep has taken a strange, extremely feminine turn. I wasn't even going to say feminine, but now I see the, the uh, it's magenta. Is it's that, it's no, fuchsia. That is not, yeah, fuchsia. It's fuchsia. 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 It, 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 it is, it is summer colors. It's purple. No, I'm, it's I'm not, rocking, no, it is not summer colors. I'm rocking my dashiki today. The dashiki because... is not summer colors. Do not be, do not be tricked with that. Whatever. That, it's not, it's, Whatever. it's girly colors. This is, colors. This is Miami. Eve. Summer's Eve. Yo. It is not Miami. I am, I, am, I am rocking my dashiki today because I wanted to remind people that Juneteenth <laughs> is upon us. June 19th, so you have time to prepare your Juneteenth freedom from slavery <laughs> celebrations. Yes. First of all, no one is thinking about Juneteenth with you and that girly dashiki, okay? I, don't, I think the maker of the dashiki probably sent that for me because I am a girl, and I'm a girly girl, and that looks like a dashiki for a girly girl. Well, it was girl. hanging in my dressing room, so... And you have slipped. It, you know what it looks I like? It looks like it looks like for um, wardrobe. Tyler Perry, when he plays Madeer, should wear that. It looks like a house coat. Looks like a. <laughs> it looks like a a house coat that your grandmother wears. Do you feel African? I do kind of feel li- like Eddie Murphy in Trading Places. You remember Again, at the end? Not yeah. a good reference. Yeah, people. I feel like it. That Eddie Murphy would never have worn. I feel like, like a bullet, a bullet, a bullet, ha! Ha ha ha! That's how I feel right now. But that's you, how we feel too. <laughs> that's exactly how we feel. Actually, that's how I feel. I definitely feel the Nikki, ha. Nikki, and Boko. That's how I feel. That's my thing, right? He's gonna ignore the fact that it's girly as fuck, right? Why? Gonna ignore that? Why? You trying to say men it's can't a, wear pink? Is no, that what it is? It is all pink. It is not all pink. It's mostly. Pink. It is multicolored. It's it is mostly pink. mostly fuchsia. I mean, if you if you don't count white, everything else is is pink. I mean, the 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 the. the the pitchforks, the, the, the it's all pink. You are sitting up here in a in a it is, fuchsia it is, it is festive with a, a lion. Wait, hold on. It's twenty eight. It's twenty eighteen, and there are dudes walking around with sheer shirts, heels, and purses. This is not. Feminine. Those men have uh, crossed over. They are not claiming to, to. They they are in a different category, or maybe I'm. I, I don't know what you're saying because you're. Saying that there are men doing that, but those men have taken on another. another I'm, I'm call. trying to say, if you're trying to say <laughs> that this is feminine, they're gay. Hey, I'm just those saying, those men are gay. Walk around Lenox Mall. You should not go to Lenox with this see. on. You, you shouldn't going, go anywhere but you, here. <laughs> you this not. is like one of those Rihanna outfits that you can only wear. Like, you know how sometimes women will see Rihanna in a video wearing something right. and say, like, oh, I can wear it's that to the club. It's a photo shoot type thing, right? Yeah. But it's not even for a man. It's like a dope, like I have an enchanted dashiki. It says mm-hmm. enchanted on it and it's fuchsia. And because I'm a, I'm a So that may be why colors. you're seeing Where's that. Your, do you, are you not aware that Juneteenth <laughs> is upon us? In a few <laughs> short days. Do you have, did you go out for uh, Cinco de Mayo? Let me ask you a question. I did did not. you go drinking? I on don't drink, so no. You St. Me- Patrick's Day? You, you've mentioned it Juneteenth twice now. So what, what, <laughs> what are you going to be doing to commemorate the white abolitionists that, that really helped in slavery? I'm going to go out and get drunk. For the white people? No, I'm going to go, what do you mean for the white people? Well, I mean to commemorate just, them, because I mean, I hear a lot about Juneteenth every year. I'll probably know. just go drink Jamaican beer, but. I just I don't, I don't ever see anybody any any names of the white abolitionists that helped. Like, what does that can happen? we get, can we give them some credit? And the the white abolitionists. You want me? You want me to have a, a drink with John Brown? Yeah, do something. Like maybe maybe if you go to a bar, your local bartender, a club, and like create a white abolitionist drink. You know, like Sex on the Beach. Just make one for 
This is not. I'm not behind what? that. Age. I'm just saying. So what, you're not gonna. Y'all you're drinking not all the other holidays. I'm I don't sure. Drink at all. I'm, Nothing. No, I don't. You didn't, I don't you, you didn't celebrate Cinco de Mayo. No, I don't, none of that. I don't either. No, that's who really does that? Mm, that's just an excuse. People to go. No, nah, I, mean, I don't you, drink. So you love the white, so I know you celebrated. First of all, <laughs> I know there was, I know there was a Caucasian First celebration all, in your system. Uh, yeah. Hispanic and white are two different things. So Cinco no, no, de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo is not Hispanic. Cinco de Mayo is not even a real holiday. It's not. So I'm saying, what is the? So what is your point? You drink. Yeah, it's just an excuse for people to get drunk. Okay. You did Ta-da. Well, you think black people don't like to drink? Juneteenth is the time. Uh, you think I should, like, so you Juneteenth, think should, I should just go out and drink celebrate. Hennessy? We should celebrate Juneteenth. Juneteenth with liquor. Yeah. Should we also do it for Martin Luther King's birthday? If you wish. Well, you should start a, you should start a, 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 a you know, a, hey man, some type of freedom rally. I think, I think black people need to be okay with celebrating their own if holidays. If you wear that dashiki, right. people will definitely want you to drink. I will definitely say, if you wear that particular dashiki, you definitely look like you should be I have several. I, think, I have several. I think you look cute, man. I'm just going to put it out there. So I don't, <laughs> know, I don't know what she's talking about. I, I, I want to be cute. <laughs> you do? <laughs> you I want to be cute to another man. You look cute, though. But, mm-hmm. I, can't, I can't help it. <laughs> Crystal can say it, but you, I'm questioning. Now. I can't help it. You what? look cute. How very beige of you. It's so vibrant. It's a vibrant. Pink, it's dashiki. <laughs> Jesus help us. Shout out. What? I can't. Dashikis focus. don't can't come in many colors Shout like out. black people. Shout out the designer, man, at least after all this. You got to. Maximilian clothing. <laughs> Thank you, sir. And for I'm my sure he did not for making it look for cute. You. Yes. <laughs> Cutie, a cutie patootie. That's right. They always try to hate, man. No, we're not mm-hmm. hating. You chose. You you Feminize. chose. If you see the other audience, there are other shirts over there. There's a white polo. There's a green one, and he chose the pink. Dashiki. But this is for Juneteenth. I got you. No, okay. I get it. We I gotta move it. on. I can't. I can't look. Hold at on, let me say it one more time. Juneteenth. It's Damn. a six foot seven person in a fuchsia dashiki. I feel like I should have a hat to match. Actually. I think you I'm should. Kinda, I feel like I think my you uncle should Bing. coordinate. I think you should. Why yeah. not? This is this is quite a. I have like okay. long slacks with look, the sandals, <laughs> with, my, with my toes it's, out. You, it doesn't matter if you look at me or not. I can see them out of my periphery. <laughs> it's, it's, it's bright. It's bright. And it's because it's got like a soft purple trim right around the. I can't. You, you look. It looks like Big Mama's house. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel like I walked into the kitchen and saw my wife at the stove. Like you know what I'm saying? She, she didn't want to put, like, put on a real clothes. He should she have put on flour a on his hands. There should be like a plastic <laughs> bag with flour and seasoning salt in it. Sweet mother of God. Oh, God. All right. So cute. Okay. I'm so lame. No, no. no. Hey, you know what? We tried. I tried, Your jokes man. are unfunny. I tried. I it's tried. It's not even a joke. We're just saying what it looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah. <laughs> you know right. what? I, I saw something that I'm kind of questioning looking at today, actually. What is that? It was it, it was Jay-Z's shoulder. You know what? At this point, you are not able to talk about that. You 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 cannot talk about this, okay? Why not? This is not the day for you <laughs> to talk about Jay-Z's shoulder. Now I, we, we do. We did see the pictures. You, did you see the pictures, B? I did. Even though y'all say I'm never on social media, I did happen upon the pictures. What did you think when you saw the pictures? I, I mean, I'm always appalled by her pictures. She has like pregnant. We don't see pregnant. We don't see that what? shit. It's so beautiful. It wasn't beautiful to me. It's just a pregnant chick. That's not. <laughs> I can't. That's that's <laughs> to me what that is. Oh shit! I got about. 18 to 27 years worth of work ahead of me. That's what I see when I see a pregnant woman. It's not work How for you. How many kids you got? Exactly. Four. Yeah, that's why. That's, that's what that is. Exactly. Yeah. Four, yes. Okay, so, but she's and not two pregnant. two dogs, which is almost like you a do. damn kid. But it's not like she's pregnant. She's very unpregnant Well, not, in the not right now. But I'm saying I've been appalled by all of her pictures. Like, so... Mm. <laughs> on this really? one, Beyonce ain't had no draws on, though. That's fine, though. That, that bothered you? I no, I wasn't. That, 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 that part, that wasn't. Somebody was saying nude. Was that you saying they were nudes? They're not nudes. They though. are nude. They are nude. I didn't see anything. Clothing was optional. Well, that's because they were positioned, cra- you know, cleverly so that you don't see, but they definitely, it, 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 it is. Artistic. It is, there was another picture. I didn't say that. Yeah, there was a different photo where Beyonce well, had on a thong. Well, she has on a thong. Yeah, yeah, she has on a thong in that one, but she didn't have on a top. Yeah. And then. Mm. Uh, that's normal shit around the house. What? Is, what? I'm gonna get what's you went, do you, so you enjoy, you have no problem with the pictures? You had a problem with it? I don't I just, know why I, there's I, only I just, two. Why I don't, don't want any Give me the whole spread. I don't want any more. I, I don't want any more. To me, okay, I have to say this. 
I felt like it was a very, I could see Kim and Kanye doing that. Like, to me, I would expect that from Kim and Kanye because, because I think- Because Kanye, Kim's a hoe? Ki, no, I think Kim always right leads now. with her. Well, Jay-Z is definitely not in, you know, He's never fighting been, shape. Jay has <laughs> never been like Arnold Schwarzenegger, yo. He is not, not even he's no Nelly. Lee Haney. He's, he's no, no no, he isn't. Buff I just dude. think that he and Kanye is kind of like a toss-up. I don't know. I think they probably could be the same as, but you as know far what? as the shirt off. Let me just be for real. I don't know if it's because Jay-Z is a rapper or because he is a black man. Every time Jay-Z has shown skin, the public has cringed. No, I, it's definitely not because he's a black man. Because there are a lot of black men that show skin that we don't cringe. Shall I sh- share? Uh, LL Cool J, rapper, show skin, no cringing. Nelly, rapper, show skin, no cringing. I, it, there's, there, there are many. Uh, what's his name? Outside of the club we, we, and the we thing going to name another dude. What's, no, what's the dude? Uh, Bone, Bone Crusher. No, we, what about we him? We don't want that. That's not what we're looking <laughs> for. Y'all like, but, but y'all like Rick Ross with his I shirt don't, off? No, don't, don't say y'all. Rick Ross. I, I don't like you, it. You, you like, you like old like Rick Ross. Not, I, don't not, like, I don't like it. You, I don't know who y'all. Do. I don't like it. That's not what I'm... Y'all like that shit. I didn't have a problem with the pictures. Um, I don't. I don't know. Is is the internet broken? I I don't know that. I think that may. Well, you know what? For the first time, people are saying negative. Most of the comments have been negative that I've seen. Someone said this was the first L Jay Z has taken since Ether. And L? How? He's with Beyonce, laying in the bed with a, a naked chick. Who? What dudes are these? Yeah, I don't know how you could take an L being naked with Beyonce. But well, is at it, the same time, do you think it's shaved or is it hairy? What? Beyonce. I don't know. I don't care. I don't shaved. know. I don't like no. shaves. I hope it's not. I bet it's, I bet it's shaved. Beyonce's I hope, very I much in control. Not, I, I hope it's not this. shaved. I don't mm. like And then it's a, that's even more of a plus. You don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. We just got through talking about LL Cool J not being cringeworthy. It was a shirt off, not an actual So you don't want to see hair. a full nude LL Cool J? No. I may glance. <laughs> <laughs> what about Michael right. B. Jordan? I I um I don't care. I don't want to talk about I, I, his. I, 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 she always I don't want to talk about to pubes. Who wants to talk right. about pubes? I don't want to talk do. about. But this is what I'm saying. Every mind. time, e- every time anything has been shown on Jay Z, the public cringes. When he had, took his, <laughs> when he wore sandals at the video shoot years back, people were like, "Oh, what are you doing?" Has Jay-Z, when when no, they saw I, his I, legs, they clowned this. him for missing leg day. <laughs> He is definitely not a, a leg model. Been? No, never. Yeah, no, so but because he's tall and he's broad shoulders, he can care. Like we don't, women don't really care because he's. You know, if you're if you're tall and you know, you can put on a shirt and there's no obvious protrusion. He kind of gets away with it. But then when you take it off and you see, it's kind of like it's dad bod. He's a dad. What's wrong with y'all? He's he's damn but near fifty. He but da- but uh, what, what do you want? Why we don't want to see him without a shirt? He's also, no, 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 he's, also he's also a billionaire. Stop the Which motherfucking is why music. We are going to be okay. Stop with the it. music. All these fat bitches out here talking about uh uh full bodied motherfucking. What is the word? What is the word I'm looking oh, at? Oh, a full figured model. Full figure. Get the fuck out of here. If we got to look at that sloppy ass shit and say, oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> if we got to look at that shit, y'all gonna get off Jay Z about that. He's not oh, fat like some of these comes, chicks talking about they models. The fuck is you modeling? Okay, it's a super. You know how they have like three fourths model. model, like it's a little a plus, card. It's like three fourths of real size. Plus, they like seven fifths models because they bigger than the real thing. It's a plus size model because there are women that are bigger. But this is so? not. Mo- he is not a model. He, he is, is a model. It's his. It's his. It's his Instagram. Get the fuck off of it. You don't like it. Hey, look, y'all I better cut this shit out. Off. Y'all, if y'all want us to call y'all beautiful, and you know you've been skipping. Wait, what is it? Cardio day? We say skipping leg day. If you've been skipping cardio day. You better not say nothing about Jay Z's body. Maybe been skipping the salad bar too. <laughs> you're not, well, I you know, know what you guys skipping. just love. So the what's wrong with that though? Fat yeah. shame women. I'm not fat shame women. Fat they, shame. They, that is fat shame. They force about. us they to say have, it's beautiful. It, 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 because you should be able to see people should be able to see beauty everywhere in roles. <laughs> I hate you. Hey, fat, it, fat women you. can be beautiful still. Thank you. Is it speak a, up? They is can, it a speak that up. don't make them less fat though. They still. I like my girls BBW. They may be beautiful in the face too. Right. You said yeah. they force us to say it's beautiful they as do. if there's nothing no, beautiful about it. No, because if you it. say, I don't like that, you're just being an asshole. You're fa- no, I just don't like that. Get it together over there. Get it together over there. On, Yeah, get it, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> ma'am, could you please get it together? 
<laughs> without a girdle or a oh, waist trainer a or a Spanx. Spanx or oh, whatever no. that but shit women, is you okay, wrap around at the gym. No. Women, this is this is, is that a positive point. reinforcement from you? Women you just are get judged on their body. <laughs> Listen to me. Yeah. Women are judged on their bodies more than men, which is why Beyonce has Obviously to look not. has to look ridiculously perfect uh, after just having surgery, twins. Surgery. And she she looks ridiculously perfect Surgery. but Jay-Z can lay there looking like he's just ingested no, a bag of men, marshmallows no, and it's no. okay men because aren't allowed to get are- surgery because look how y'all did Kanye when he said he got liposuction that's because of his Look delivery. how they did LL when, they, when he said he got pecs and enhanced and stuff. Did he? I didn't know that. Come, that I don't think he did. Come on, man. He, I don't believe he it. He was way too brawly. I don't, I don't know I don't know that he did, but there was it. a heavy rumor out. I don't believe it, LL. Guys no, are judged for doing that. because he gets that. in the gym. We don't believe Kanye it. Kanye almost committed suicide, he said, because he because he had to well, that's Kanye, because himself. I think Kanye wants to be looked at as a woman. Why, why did you Kanye roll your eyes be, when he said suicide? Kanye wants to be judged on the same by the same rules that women are. Did you catch that? I did not. I just said I just think that Kanye wants to be judged like a woman. He's definitely very different. But Jay-Z can't go get liposuction and all that stuff you want. That, I don't think that Jay-Z, Beyonce wants, I don't think Jay-Z, Jay-Z would do it. wants liposuction. That, exactly. I think Jay fine. would do that. Exactly. And you're talking about she's perfect. She's surgeried up. Come on, stop it. I just think that women are judged. I think the fact that they could be like the most popular couple and he can look like that physically. Obviously he can't. Y'all snapping. Well, it just wasn't the best picture, okay? It I just didn't see a problem with the picture. picture. Do hey, do and your even thing. And even if we even if we look away from the body, like he's looking at a weird, like he he doesn't look comfortable. I mean, because you know why? No. You know why? Because those pictures were not Jay Z's idea. <laughs> he was being a supportive husband. You think so? All right. She yep. said she's. <laughs> hey, she, I, I, she's matter of fact, I saw somebody posted that Jay Z cheated. Beyonce I said, "Take these pictures." <laughs> he said. I <laughs> <laughs> I saw someone said if he sh- if he only hadn't have met Becky with the good hair we wouldn't have to see this right now. He's you know I don't know about that. So I you think were disgusted. I did I didn't like. I think that I think that men look scale of better. one to ten disgusting. Where were you at? It was very high. Like about. <laughs> I just don't want to see him just like give me a that. Number. Uh, Eight point five. Eight point five. But when I say fat women trying to pretend like they're in shape and beautiful, y- y'all get mad at me. I just think... Well, How can you say that about Jay-Z? First of all, there are face. fat women that no. are in shape. Okay. There are fat women that are in shape. No. And shape does not no. have anything to do with a size. Stop with that propaganda. I, there's you a, cannot <laughs> be fat and in shape. I the only shape up, you are is round. I will pull, I will pull that up... That is not real. Don't give me that shit about you can true. be fat and in shape. That's you not, can. That's not possible. I will possible. pull up footage of a young woman that is, that, is, that is not the standard size, and she teaches a pole dancing class. And she is the extremely... The standard size. What European standard is this? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Tell me more. You are waking the old Tell me more. <laughs> Tell me more she about is, the standard. She may have rolls. She yeah, have you, can, you, you cannot have cellulite and rolls and shit. And yes, be you can. In, man, come on, Yes, you on, can. Man. There are a lot of women that are heavy set that really you don't have roll. You don't have, have you rolls and teach a pole dance in class. Yes, no, you, that's... I've seen it. There's, I can There is an, an insurance company that will... No, <laughs> hell no. Who's if you, fall, if who's you fall, fall off that pole... Damn right. no. you. You hear hell me? <laughs> no. She got cut right. She got cut right insurance. Have you guys seen Monique? Monique will dance... An hour straight so without. Much. She's in shape. Is that my doesn't point. mean she's in shape because she dances it an does. hour. It does. It means that she has great cardio. She might be her two heart is in her heart. She's not two seven. She's going all out with African dance. African dance, in fact. She's. Her that's heart what, is that's what was her lady because you're in a dance. Right. Yeah. Like what was you want? You <laughs> want brownie points you said, for that? That's what you think people should be doing. I'm sure is, is dance is doing African dance. So I'm you don't like stripping? That would be nice. Oh okay. See, told you. Hey. Yeah, I'm sorry. You cannot be. There may be an anomaly here or there. I'm sure Monique is not it. There are a lot of there are a lot of skin. People that are not in shape and and heavier true. people that are true. But once they don't say in shape, why? Because it's not true. Mm. We, let's see what's true. Now, if you don't like it, that's fine. I hate when people do cardio to lose weight because all they end up with is strong feet. If you're not going to explain it, I'm not going to ask. I don't know. Hey. I don't even know what to say. Yeah, <laughs> you threw cardio out there. And it just made me. I think cardio is actually for your heart, though, Kevin. I'm not sure that I don't. I, I've never heard a doctor say, "Man, hey, you really got good decent lungs and strong feet, but you don't lose weight." <laughs> that is nobody I mean, I'm runs. Not, I'm not gonna touch <laughs> it. Hey, I, I, I can't touch it, guys. I'm just gonna leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, hey, it is what it is. Where were we? <laughs> uh, yeah. So yeah, I don't. I don't think anything wrong with Jay Z being chest nipples naked. Well, Beyonce was actually covering his nipple. She's she's cool. covering the nip. Would you would you have liked to see that too? No, I'm good. I'm sorry. I don't think Jay Z's ever been touted as being the sex symbol dude. No, I don't ever. think he, but no. I, actually I think he does look look 
very handsome in a suit. Mm-hmm. You know, I think that I think that most men look better in a suit. I don't. So, I'm not really a fan of a naked man. I like a man in a nice suit or a nice white so beater and some boxers. You're that you're that woman that's in all those amateur pornos where the dude has like his underwear on. He's still. I am not in any amateur porn. Why do amateur porno stars do that? I've never. First of Take all, Take your clothes off, man. Have you ever had sex with a guy who's had his, all his clothes on? No. Yes, you. No, I haven't. <laughs> yes, you just pulled his penis through a hole in the boxes. <laughs> <That's> disgusting. <laughs> that is disgusting. No. That is so. Uh, that is so. Uh, I like, don't like when people keep their socks on. That, that freaks me out. <laughs> how, like, many, how many people? Naked. No, nah, you got to keep the socks on. <laughs> you keep socks on. You got to keep socks on. You can't get disgusting. traction with socks. You need to, to get in there. You need keep to socks. take the socks off. And it just it just mess up the continuity of your of the of the nude the nudity. It's so just, you like nudity when I it's don't during, like a sock on though. Yeah, I like a I, sock I, on. I don't. I think I feel like that's a black man thing for some reason. I think Keeping so. socks on. Boxers too though, because you ain't supposed. You don't, I don't keep know about your the boxes, boxers on. I don't. I, I think socks. it's ridiculous. People to have aren't any pulling on penises your, through a hole in the. Because when you ain't get some, the last thing you're trying to do is pull off that. Le- mm. It just, just it doesn't work with the content. In the shirt, place. he even did that feminine. Did you see that? How he how he bent down? It and got feels his sock? feminine when you go pulling your <laughs> sock off. It feels you just feminine gonna, to take your sock off. Taking socks off is feminine. You have to take your socks off every night. If, if, I think you're overcompensating because of your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just I'm just saying, man. I, I just feel it, it. It goes with the narrative that a black man is supposed to be covered. Why are we always Especially coming feet. back to color? Covered? What do you mean? Especially feet. Why should black men always be covered? Um, I don't know. It's a thing. We don't. You you can't wear spaghetti I, I, straps and what? all that. You can't Who do that. Are, are what men wearing what, spaghetti what straps? You, know, you can't. Mm, you supposed to be covered, man. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You a dude, man. You are supposed to be covered. Jamaicans Jamaicans wear those cut off shirts with the mesh. They do that all the time. They're blacker than you. Are they, yeah. they, I think they're just dancing in those. I don't think that's no, just for no, everyday. No, no, no. That is go to work wear. They do that. They wear that. You can't do that everywhere, man. Jamaicans can. not the hell? Jamaicans can't. Are you Jamaicans that? told you that? I can't. I've seen it. I'm not going to ask. I've seen it. Never mind. Seen okay. It. All right. All right. <laughs> no, but but I don't think you have the right to shame Jay-Z. We're Women, not, okay. Well, you leave know. that man alone. Dudes, dudes, y'all shouldn't have to be commenting on him at all. I well, heard I somebody, a lot of guys are cutting him out of the picture. Cropping no, him out. No, somebody in Slack, Somebody in our Slack room today was saying that um, I guess the more money you got, the less hairy your body is or something. I guess because he's completely <laughs> hairless except for his head and eyebrows. <laughs> Some guys don't have a lot of I mean, hair. Jay barely got a mustache. Yeah, right. True. Yeah, he's not But really you know right. what? This is also, I think part of But can I say his reason, hairline is strong and go, good for him and good for Beyonce. Is it? Or is that his surgery? Maybe he did surgery. No, I don't believe that. I think that some guys are just blessed and have a great hairline. Mm. May I mention Nas? But you can know what? That's part of the reason. Conversation? That's actually part of the reason that Jay-Z looks so funny in that picture because he don't have a haircut either. Remember, this is Jay-Z with like the little afro right now. Yeah, this he's isn't textured. The, this isn't. Five, ten years ago the where Caesar. you had the Caesar. I like the Caesar better yeah. on him. I'm not really a fan. But hey, you know, as a woman likes it, that's awesome. I just think that for me, it, I I think I, I, I'm a huge Beyonce fan. I love the fact that, yes, she shows that she's sexy, but she doesn't show everything. At this point, we've seen everything. There's another picture of her from the back where you can just, you know, she's naked. Uh, I, I, you know, last week you gave Kim K a black card. At this point, she's amazing. Kim Kardashian is an amazing woman. I'm, you know, it's she, all I mean, up for grabs. At this even point. If, even if she did it for a <laughs> We're public, all publicity stunt, and Trump also, right. that lady's out of prison. That's amazing. No, I agree. I agree. After after that, I'm, you know, she it worked, and she did something amazing. She's visiting with the the president to pardon uh, people that are in jail, and Beyonce is naked. So I mean, I, I did, we're all just and, we're just. Silver lining, silver lining. Now, Trump has requested that the NFL players who have ever kneeled send him a list of people that they want pardoned, and him and his, he and his team will investigate those pardons. Really? The, the president you guys hate so much, I'm just saying, we got to put a little bit in there sometimes when it's right. But, you know, that's I, probably a publicity stunt, too. <laughs> Nonetheless, black people are out of jail. I agree. I agree. I yeah, think I, still don't, I, I, still be real. I still don't trust it. However, I'm, I'm going to let this I mean, play even, out. Did you trust this uh, Alice Johnson thing? The Kim Kardashian Alice Johnson thing? Did you trust that before no, it happened? Uh, well, I was. I, I told you I was willing to let Kim, hey, do what you do, right? But you ain't going to She, you she was already, she was, hey, she's been holding down Kanye. I told you she's got a black husband. She's got a black kid. She's 
She didn't invest, do this. She's got a lot of skin in the she game. She didn't do this. It and was she's free and pe- hey man. She no. She I was, didn't say she she's a, a she Black the, Panther now. She was but, the advocate you know. though. We yeah, have to did. respect the fact that Trump had something to do with this too. I'm right. not saying that she's right. not amazing. She's amazing for even caring for right. even taking the call and is, putting the paperwork is, together. Is Kim Kardashian a, a white abolitionist now? She is. Is, is she John Brown? Well, she's level? not white, but she's what is she Armenian or she's something? She's Armenian. Is, is that white? Is Armenian white? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Listeners, if you uh, if I you are if you are watching, it ain't Asian. If you is. saw this dude, it ain't Hispanic. He switched into hotel mode. It was instantaneous though. <laughs> me and Crystal caught it. <laughs> he, he, his whole body what, changed. What, what the hell y'all want me to say? Oh, yeah, okay. God. So yeah, she's a white. You don't want the truth. Don't ask me. Goddamn. If she can free some more people, man, what the hell? Jesus. Right. And what? Who am I to turn my nose up at that? Or Trump for doing it. I ain't got nobody out of jail. So are you, I, I got are, an uncle I ain't never met. So Trump, Trump is too. Trump is in a good is in good standing with you people, right? That's two. With you people. You, you people. That's two. Yeah. Yeah. Jack Johnson, which really I'm doesn't asking. matter. You can't that you can't because mm-hmm. he could she is not the major player hey man, in this. She look, was the she's a supporting cast member, but he's the principal player. Well, check this out. Even a broken clock is right twice oh, a day. Jay Z. That's a hey, Jay-Z line. I don't have to agree with I don't have to agree with everything about this person. That's but all anybody's ever said. Thing, I'm, an, I'm, I'm allowed to acknowledge. We, okay, we, we, we would like to take thing. a moment for you to acknowledge that you are happy that Trump did something good. We're going to let you do it. I'm happy that something good happened. No, no, don't don't bitch up now. I think it was I think it no, was wonderful no. that Alice Johnson is free. Me too. I think it's wonderful. That That's that is awesome. Really not. I hope she doesn't go back to selling crack. Just saying. <laughs> Don't fuck it up, Alice, for everybody that may come back. Kim may be able to help. I mean, she was on hard times. That's why she did it before. It ain't like she's getting out to some prosperity. Well, I mean, how many years have gone by? She's She was Lots. in there like almost 30 years. You think right? times have gotten better or worse? I think that she's in a better place. Okay? <laughs> she is? I do. I think she can go on a book circuit. She can probably write a book. There you go. You yeah. know, why don't she, she call can make, her up? Um, she could definitely write a book. Yeah. yeah. She, she, there's opportunities that are going to be afforded her. Her and Kim should do a But do a at the same time, I've seen a lot of unsongs and a lot of where are they nows. But that has nothing to do with this, though. Mm, I hope not. I, Alice, I'm, I'm proud of you for, you know what I'm saying? Well, I don't know if I'm proud of you. You really didn't do anything but sell crack and then get let out. <laughs> but I will be proud if but you are... That's not an offense that you should get yeah, that and it was a, a prison term for. It You're was right. also... It, right. It's not like... Whether she was selling crack or not, man, it ain't like she was busting folks' heads no, wide open. Right. It was, was non violent. I'm not saying she should have been it in jail for that long. Violent, and that's why Kim I just Kardashian, think that we have to acknowledge that, yes, that she did. both Trump and Boom. Kim Kardashian. And that's what I'm talking about, my hotel brother. <laughs> what? <laughs> what she just said. I, I'm sorry, I didn't. I, just, <laughs> I think hear in, <laughs> in order to be respected, you have to be able to be honest about both sides. So you've been very vocal when. Trump that's does fair. bad things, yes. so he wants you to be just as vocal if he does something that's that's positive. Add a boy, Trump. We need one of those. We need an add a boy. It's too soon. Wow, oh, and this she's is awful. Freed. One person. Oh my. Okay. Okay. Hey, okay. there's a lot of people that's been deported. Okay, let me too. ask you a question. There's okay. A lot of people that's been deported. Let me deported. ask you a question. Let me ask you a, a serious question. A lot of people question. getting locked up. Let me ask he you still a ain't question. even acknowledged James Shaw Jr. Okay. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> If at the end of this term, mm-hmm. right, and I'm not saying that this is going to happen, but if the economy has actually gotten better, because we can see that, you know, the, the em- unemployment rate has gone down. If there have been positive changes in our, in our country, are we going to acknowledge that or are we unable to see that? Because that's, that, that's one of my problems with a lot of us is like we, we love to complain, but we don't, we don't also acknowledge when something is done right. So... I think it was. was I it? just said it was a good thing. No, you didn't. You didn't say Trump. You 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 pussyfooting around it. I don't have to say that. I okay. said it, it was a good thing. But guess what? If he does something negative, you're going to come in here. Absolutely. Trump, blah, 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 blah. Absolutely. No, y'all y'all never hear me say that name. Do we need to? I wish I could have like an instant rewind button on we stuff. Gotta get, we got to get show. better technology because we got to be able to right. rewind this wanna, stuff back. And just say like no. when Kevin said Trump and then it just <laughs> pop up like the 50 different instances. A, hold on. There's a lot of people that don't say that name. They don't say it. Okay. He's still they, the president, They'll say 45. I've heard yeah. Colt 45. I've Cheeto. heard a few Cheeto. things. Cheeto. Right. Yeah. Orange face. Orange, orange something. Even if you go to CNN.com, it doesn't say his name. That's it says 45. News. That's fake news, though. 
Oh Jesus! You click on forty five and you feel new. You find news about. Hasn't, the hasn't CNN kind of lost a lot of credit? Haven't all the news sources lost a lot of credibility this election? I'm this, not this gonna, campaign. I'm not gonna say that. They have. They've been doing some mm. dumb shit. I'm not gonna. Okay, say that. well, maybe I don't. I don't know. It depends. I didn't trust. I didn't standpoint. trust them before, but come on, it's like yeah. ridiculous stuff. Now I don't think black people have trusted the media for a while. Anyway. I kind of stopped watching news before that. I oh, mean, my. you know, it was a lot going on. Is that because your PR? You still kind of got a. <laughs> It's the I mean, illusion. I, I'm not just a PR. I also am a part of the media. I write as well, and I don't think that that's It's an realistic. illusion. You be lying illusion. on your stories, I too. Crystal not. lies on some of her stories, <laughs> I y'all. Not. I promise. Mm-hmm. It's all I illusion. You're a fibber. No, none of this shit is real. It's all smoke and mirrors, and not Crystal true. adds some to of us the illusion. That are actual journalists with integrity that actually tell the truth. Not, it's that's all, not true. It's all <laughs> lies. That's not true. <laughs> That is None of true. your favorite artists ah. are favorite people in real life. They're all dickheads. And Crystal shines them up and shines that shit up and makes it look like it's special. And it's they're just fucking Bing. bad people. They're awful people. You, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> really on a tangent right now. Really on a tangent. Let's move I'm on to something business. more fun. Yeah, right. let's just move on to something okay. more fun. Okay. So there was this Instagram poll that that I found on Earthquakes page that I shared with you guys that basically is is trying to figure out what is the best opening liner of a song. Right. Now, the weird thing is it said song, but all the examples are basically from hip-hop songs. So, yeah. I'm, so we're just going to assume, because I, I definitely have some different thoughts when it comes to just overall songs. First of all, you have to agree with the majority, and I didn't even know this was the majority on, the, on your comments, but the first thing I said was Tupac hit him up. First off, I, I, yeah. is that just because we're just in beef mode? No. Like, if, you, the, if the beef hadn't no. happened, would I'm we still you, be thinking that? I'm going to tell you why. First off, fuck your bitch and the click you claim, the song could end right there. That could be the whole song and the he song says, is first over. first off, just, this is how I'm going to start it off. That could be the right. end of the song. Just, I name another song that could end in the first sentence. But he keeps going and he says, <laughs> I fucked your wife. Like, he just, it keeps, it's, it's more than just the first, like, four lines that is. Well, yeah, but the, the question he was asking for the, the first bar, right? Right. It is. Yeah, that's it iconic. Is. That's iconic bar. The song is over. First off, fuck your bitch. Right there, it's, <laughs> niggas already on defense. And now you're talking about all the niggas you run with, too. Like, it's, that's everybody. Who else is there? He just didn't say nothing about his mom. That's it. And, and then he says, and then he, and then he goes on to say, he claims his own clique, and then he says, <laughs> I fucked your wife. <laughs> right. It's pretty much over. You couldn't but, read. I mean, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Get your get your mic and get your mouth in front of the mic. But you couldn't oh, have read that okay. more you European. Guys switched. <laughs> you guys switched. First off, she said, "Hold on." It, it says he claims his own <laughs> clique. Hey, providing coitus to his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you in entertainment? What am I, I, to have? I believe he. Uh, it says here he claimed his <laughs> clique. <laughs> this is the same person that said Drake was no. less black because he pronounced an R oh, in no. nigger. I didn't say he was less black. What was the point in pointing that out, I, though? What, that it was a hard R? He's Canadian. Crystal, I have some bad news. Oh, man, I hate to even say this shit. No, you don't. I, no, I do. I have some awful news. I was watching some um, history documentaries on mm-hmm. YouTube and one of the guys who was doing the documentary was a Brit. Yes. And he was talking about this particular horse that existed about 50,000 years ago. Oh, okay. My and he said, just peaked. Yes. And he said, it was not similar to the donkey. It was more similar to the zebra. <sighs> <laughs> but it was a Brit. I'm sorry. Repeat that, please. <laughs> it was a Brit. No, no, no. I, I, I want don't to. care. It was a Brit. <laughs> And a Brit is an opposite of a hotep, correct? It was a pretty smart dude, though. Is a Brit an opposite of a hotep? I don't know that it is, but it was a pretty smart dude, and mm-hmm. he said that it was not similar to the 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 donkey. It was similar to the zebra. God. I hate you. And look at you. <gasps> no, I'm it just happened. saying, but still, but why is a hotep claiming a, a British accent? I don't know. I just have to admit that I I had never heard it before, but now I've heard it again from someone who is seemingly smart. Well, there's uh, Kevin Hart is also running. Not that Kevin's with it as not well. smart, but he's not. He's the first time I heard it. So I needed another well, good anyone source. Anyone that says cardio is for strong feet is definitely... Um, well, if I hear a Brit, a smart <laughs> Brit say that now, I'm going to be like, well, damn. Huh. So, so is that what it is? It takes, you got to hear it out of Europeans' mouth? I just got to have another huh? source. I got to have another don't hear, source. You don't respect it when it comes from a black man? I just need another source because I had never heard that before. Are we, are we not... <laughs> so, so we're just going to go with that lyric as being the best the That's best. The best one. one. What, what do you want to say? Which, which one? Well, I, I, I mean, does it have to be so aggressive at like first? What? Allow me to reintroduce myself. 
That's a that uh, was great a bar. Pretty yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Great bar. I like that one. Pretty still good. not more than Tupac though. Yeah. But that's just because it's aggressive, though. But is that the whole line? The whole in the whole okay. line. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Hove. So that's yeah. like, mm, that's cool. It's okay. But that started. Okay, all right. So Rakim has nothing. We're not. And 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 someone else said every line from pub, every uh, opening bar from Public Enemy in the '90s, like Chuck D. I got a letter bear- from the government. That is that is listed here. Yeah, yes. but that's not a that, that's not that's not a complete mm-hmm. thought though. Okay, but it is a it is a complete thought. The whole and if you go to suckers, if you go, I even suckers. like White Clef. The we used to be number ten, now we coming in at one. I don't know what that gives me hype. One. Okay, I like that. But, but I'm saying they don't all have to be. I thought that it was funny. A lot of people said, "Hello, Barbara. This is Shirley from Woman to Woman." Uh, the com- okay. No, okay, no, that was even, that was epic. Yeah, that was that was, that an, was very different. Epic. No, mm, I'm good. And I ain't no joke. No. He's at the mic smoke. Yeah. And I slam it on the stage and make sure it's, it's broke. That's yeah. pretty cool, but it's not fucking a bitch and, and a click. It's just not. But I mean, why does it have to be so aggressive? I, I don't know, but more aggressive is, is more to the point. Well, that's different. That, that, then that's a, that, that's a, the um, aggression is the impact, though. Right. That's, like, okay, so that's there was why it's number one. one. The, 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 wait a minute. There's an LL Cool J one in here that's pretty dope. The, um, ah, damn it. I know you guys don't like the, uh, when I'm, when I'm alone in my room. Gay. It's not gay. <laughs> Why are you staring at the wall, all, dude? You like what, are you, what are you doing? Uh, no, people like that song. I need love was a huge hit. Don't try to fake like you didn't. We like liked it because girls liked it. Dudes were staring there were at no girls. Damn wall. Actually, what was he even talking about? There were there were guys that Hold felt on, that they could re- on, that they Kevin, could relate. Kevin, have you ever been in your room alone staring at the wall about a girl? I haven't. The only time I was staring at my wall is when I was singing that lyric, trying to be silly. What about what is the what is the line of Mama said knock you out? Um, you don't remember uh, doesn't count. <laughs> uh, don't call it a comeback. Yeah, I've been here for years. Eh. Okay. He ain't fuck nobody's bitch. He ain't f- it doesn't have to be that. It doesn't have to be disrespectful. Must it be disrespectful? It got to be funny or disrespectful or aggressive or the number. It's not as one impactful. Line? Yeah, it's one a, line. It's great line, but not, not as impactful. Nothing is more impactful than first off. Fuck your bitch <laughs> and the click you claim. That nigga set the whole song up. The whole song hey, is set. It's set. Like literally every every third entry is that is that song. And I'm not even a Tupac fan. How can you not be a Tupac fan? I'm just not. He's mediocre. Mean? He's a mediocre rapper. What? Overall, his impact on the world, on culture, yes. So how can that? Rapper, how can he? Have mm, been, he's not in my top five. How could he have been mediocre and made that big of an impact? That doesn't even make sense. Because it was his spirit. It wasn't his rapping. How do we get to know his spirit if not through his rap? Through rapping, through poetry, through acting, exactly. through his All shooting at police that he was and am- shit, raping bitches. Hey, hey, now that was never it's proven. part of the story. That was never. He, oh, I agree. I think it was. I all- still believe he ain't raped that Me? girl. No, the girl came out and said some foolishness last year. Oh yeah, but she, but he's dead now, so. I but remember yeah. thinking when I heard that she lyric. She took her Instagram down too. I remember and- when I heard. Uh, the 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 disc record. I was like, oh, I don't know if he's gonna be around long because it just was so aggressive. Did you hear the outro to it when he started talking? It was worse. I'm not, I know, <laughs> but I'm just saying it was, was just it was just so he never took a break. The, yeah, it was just very aggressive, and yeah. it felt like someone that may get shot. I heard that. Uh, I was Big, so concerned. I heard that Biggie had a um a comeback for that, and Diddy did it like Jay Prince did it. Uh, Drake's. Now I okay. So if you guys heard the latest that Drake is now suing. Pusha T because uh, for $5 million for releasing the photo that wasn't uh, his right to release. It's getting real soft now, Drake. <laughs> it's getting real hey. soft. That's like, that's like Nicki Minaj tried to uh, uh, silence uh, Sheether. Yeah, it is. Mm. It is. It is like that. That's getting not real playing, soft. That's not fair, man. That's not fair. That's, well, you know, mm-hmm. Drake did. Drake, yeah. That's not play. Even with his Instagram, he got some stuff taken down off I his can't Instagram. Vouch for that. I, I, Are you I, sure I, you don't want to have the light nah, skin? Nah, cause nah, cause Drake threw that invoice out there like it was all he good. He did. He did. He threw that's, it out there. It was all if good. He's gonna, if he's gonna sue him, he over mentioned the, his fiance like it was all did. good. If you're gonna sue him over the picture, he should sue you over the invoice. He bullied Meek like it was all good. I'm not. I'm not for this, Drake. This is this is awful. This, you want Drake to stop? Mm-hmm. Light as a light skinned person, we're, we're we're not supporting this anymore. You know he's half Jewish, right? <laughs> Aren't you? You, y'all know he's having. What are you having? You, you know he's having. I wouldn't be surprised if he had some little curlies already. <laughs> That's cute. You already. You, That's cute, you like got, your dashiki. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm cute, but you right. got curly hair. Right. Uh, you got. Hey. You do. You look like AC Slater. Hey. Okay. What's the first <laughs> line of Eight Mile? That's a good. That's a good one. Uh, Eight Mile. Eminem. Mean, uh, um. 
We know you're not going to live for the here. moment. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't remember dun, the first. We know line you're there. not going to do it because dun, he's dun, not black. Dun, 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 dun. Um, what is it? What are the line? How's I'm the line? gonna find you it. You only got just, one shot. Something, that's the, but that's, that's the hook. That's the hook. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. It's I something think, like his palms are sweating. And see, that's the it's not right. Mom spaghetti. It's not mom spaghetti. It is something about that. It is there. It's the first. That mom spaghetti line is there within the first four bars. Before mom spaghetti or something is in there. It's not great. What is the what's the name of the song? Uh, in the one mo- shot love- is it one shot? No, for the moment or something. It doesn't matter. It's not gonna be a good thing. Yeah, you better mm-hmm. lose yourself in the music. The moment you own, lose it. yourself. That's what it is. You better never let it go. Right. Ah. Yeah. First off, fuck your <laughs> bitch and <laughs> the, the click, click you claim. Nothing <sighs> says more. And when it comes to impactful lines, like I'm, I'm trying to think about. Like other like I want I I desperately wanted there to be a Michael Jackson record in there that was like but no I mean I wouldn't even how about him, I wouldn't. temperatures rising your body's yearning people have been no saying I was that, joking oh, give me I'm, a break people have been mentioning R Kelly <laughs> nah people have been drifting on a memory ain't no place I'd rather be than with you mm. with the dearly beloved yeah what about Prince dearly beloved um, we were gathered I'll, yeah I'll, for this thing called I'll life. put that that's in not there a lyric. That's, that's he's talking no that was that's a lyric. Well, okay, we're, 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 we're here today. Who the fuck is this paging me at 5.46 in the morning? I mean, that's it's it's storytelling at its no, finest. No, that's a great song. You, but can, that, see this, you can see the story. Not as it impactful, It doesn't though. have to be angry. It has to be a good line. It has to be... To me, what I'm looking for is something that's all in common. It's like how when we're, when we're arguing over the titles for the show. Right. It has to be one statement that just means all of it. And it has to be poignant. It has to be concise. It has to be all telling... You know what I'm saying? And then it right. has to be clever and uh. a little humorous at, at, at that. Right. And first off, fuck your bitch and the click you claim <laughs> does all of that. So everybody's like, whoa. <laughs> you claim to be a player, but I fucked your wife. We bust on bad boys, niggas fuck for life. It just keeps going. She- it never stops. How many times <laughs> did you listen to that song when you first heard it? Thousands. But the first line, it Thousands. was over already, right? When you heard the first line, you're like, oh, well. Right, right. <laughs> but I think Rock. If I didn't hear any of the other lyrics, I knew what the song was about from the first bar. I'm good. The rest of it was the beat. Tupac, Tupac has finally won something. I mean, he deserved it on that one, but he's not that. You know, other other than that, though. This is anti auto tune, death of the ringtone. That was a, <laughs> I, a good I, I put that one in there. Okay, I'm huh. rocking with that. I I I gotta find them because I don't have them in memory, but I still think Public Enemy is in there. Protect Public me. Enemy has some good lines. Yeah. Public it, Enemy is a great group. As though. Rakim did, like you can think of be thinking of a master plan. That's dope. Oh, That's cool, yeah. <laughs> Just doesn't it doesn't sum it all up in one. Not for me. Yeah. Don't I mean, call, we can continue to have. Back, I've been here for years. We said that. Oh, we did. We cool yep. with that. But we said that one. That was Mama said knock you out. Yeah. Yeah. So on my All list. Right, well, we're giving it. You know, I guess Tupac wins. Definitely, and I don't know if we get out if we get outside of hip hop and going to R and B or what was that song you were singing earlier? Yo, listener, she was singing some whack. No, no, no. I was saying if it's songs, and we're talking about just dope. What's the first lyric? line of that it's song? It's once I was seven years old. <laughs> oh God! Wow, how prolific. Once I was two seven years old. I relate. <laughs> once I two was seven. <laughs> don't be so quick to walk away. <laughs> the point is, the song gives the chronological narrative of the singer. But you got to listen to the life. whole album, the whole song, to get it. What I'm telling you is, I first off, saying. fuck your bitch, and that's it's over. Like that's done. We we get it. It sounds like something that someone's gonna be waiting outside with a gun for. I mean, correct. It's just, it's not. There's Do no way. Do you get the point? Right. Immediately. <laughs> immediately. That song immediately. was about you. I bet your ass ain't waiting outside. Nope. If you go, no. you know what it is. I'd be like, man, she is kind of a bitch. That's what I said. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Why would he say he fucked his wife if he didn't fuck his wife? That's Who said just, he didn't? That's just taking it way too Whitney far. Whitney Houston fucked Tupac. Bobby Brown said it. Yeah, he did. Later, he, he put that information out. And then and what, Bobby yeah, Brown... They said Whitney Houston fucked Ray J, too. Hold on, hold on. Well, she did. Well, she <laughs> did. On. I mean, that, that happened... But isn't that Brandon's godmom? Anyway, yeah. hold on. But look, though. But then, then <laughs> just recently, Jaden Smith or somebody said that uh, Jada Pink was supposed to marry Tupac. So, like, this dude was doing some dirt. Well, he was messing with Janet Jackson too. Everybody knew that. No, I don't think he was because Janet played him. Bobby, Janet, Janet changed the number on him. As soon as, Bobby, as, soon as Bobby the filming Brown was over, messed with Janet Jackson. Then definitely Tupac couldn't mess with Janet. Like Bobby Brown. I mean, not that he wasn't king of stage. He was a, a celebrity for a, for a short period of time. You know, y'all women are, are soft on celebrities. Y'all just be so giving are it men. up. I, I went to see Nipsey Hussle yesterday mm-hmm. at the mall that he was there doing a Puma. Um, 
like an endorsement for Puma. And I would say they were probably 80% of the line to see him to take a picture was guys. Dudes, yeah. Well, he's, so but he's not, a, he's not a girl rapper, though. Like, but there were just dudes waiting in line throwing up crip signs. It was, it was really odd. I didn't even well, know Well, he's like a respected cool. Nipsey Hussle is definitely a respected yeah, individual. He, he gets respect, a lot yeah. of respect. And he may not be like uber famous, <laughs> right? right? Yeah. I, I don't think he gets a lot of the fanfare. Right, but he's but I, kind I of guess, similar to Pusha T. He's one of those yeah, kind yeah. of cult guys that right. you respect in the game. Didn't, didn't he the one who sold his, his album for like $100 and Jay Z bought one or something? Yeah. That was it, him, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I think he also dates Lauren London. That too. Yeah. Which but don't hurt. <laughs> but in any case, no, there was a lot of people there. But they were mostly guys, and they just right. really, like, believed. They were so excited to see him and to take a picture with There's him. There's not many artists that guys, like... Right. That's why I was like, wow, this is Respect like, and line up yeah, for. Yeah, they were, like, buying a shoe We don't and fan out. Oh, I, they well, they do fan well, out. Well, look what the choices in, are right now, though. I remember in, high, in college, like... Ice Cube came to our school and guys were pushing us out the way to get to Cube. Cube is respected. Yeah. Like, once again, that's that's guys, a sm- short list. I don't know about that. There are only a few. Short list, man. I don't know. Well, One okay, hand. well, I think what surprised you was not that there were guys in line because Lil Uzi Vert gets guys out. It's the type of guys that were in line. They were Chris. To, to show their respect, right? Yeah, they were Chris. So that's what, that's, what he, and that's what he's saying. There's only a, there's a very yeah. short list of guys who... Warrant. What constitutes that though? Like I always wonder what makes because Jay Z is one of those guys that guys just Inte- guys turn integrity. into girls for you know what I mean? Rap integrity. I don't mean integrity as a man. I mean rap integrity. So like mm-hmm. within their career, they've always upheld a certain thing right. that's masculine and you know what I'm saying powerful. A man's man. I think so. Like Nas. I think I think you have to be that to get that type of. So attention. Drake would not qualify. No, 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 no. <laughs> Nobody. I mean he cool, but I don't. I don't. I think you might. I'm just gonna throw out some name Future. I don't know. I, don't I think met so. Future. He, he cool, but nah, I, wasn't. I don't think so. I don't know though. I don't think on him. Mm. Future probably has a lot of females in line. He does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That now, so Dave East came a few months back, and that I don't was, think he's quite popular enough. But I think that if he, he continues a, he down a, the road, he, he will. A lot of, he shut them all down. It's a, but, okay. he's, but he's also a guy that a lot of girls like. He has that, you know, the 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 aesthetic that that females are really into. Nas vouches for him, so mm-hmm. yeah, I saw that, and and then. A lot of dudes actually like him. Like I've heard people yeah, say no, he's no, really lyrical. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. All right. We haven't talked about relationships in a long time. Uh oh. I don't know why. Why have we abandoned? I think because y'all hate the way that I. <laughs> we hate that about everything, <laughs> not just relationships. <laughs> what you got, Crystal? Hate love. What, no, what you okay. got up up your lack of sleeves? <laughs> All right. Question. Okay. I have a, I have a couple of friends that are that are dating. Right. They're in the dating stage. They're on social media. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, on well, dating. aren't all women dating? Because y'all are all single. <laughs> well, all black women are in Atlanta. All black women. Are. Uh, that's the complaint I hear. So I just want to, you know. <laughs> Thank you for sure bringing that up. Yeah, appreciate that. Here we go. Um. Yeah. Okay. So when you're dating, <laughs> he said, "Here we go." <laughs> <laughs> did you see him get comfortable? I did. Yeah, right. Okay. I did. I saw him. Swivel. I promise that I won't be mm. the one to mess this up. It's gonna be him. <laughs> I cross my legs. Let's go. All right. It's easier to cross his legs in that shirt. Too. I don't. That's not. Because his balls shrunk a little bit when he put it on. I didn't. I didn't take it that far. Okay, so you're dating someone, and, and you and you decide that this is the one that you are gonna focus on, right? As a guy or a woman? As a guy. Okay. Right? Because my girl, okay. my girlfriends are dating, and one of my girlfriends was dating this guy for four months. They're talking. He, she said, he's a very, he's a good communicator. Everything is awesome. He's so sweet and attentive. But she finds out there's another girl. The other girl reveals herself, and it comes out that. Voila. He told her about the other girl? No. Oh. The other girl. She showed up or on sh- Instagram or at houses or? She called her. Uh. She gave her a call. Mm. Right? She found, wow. I guess, okay, her Okay, so she went call. through his phone. She went through his phone. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I told my friend, well, there's a certain amount of grace period, like when you meet somebody, before you decide to absolutely do a hard break right. from everybody else that you're dealing with. Because anyone over 30 has, probably even younger than that, has people that are in their life. They may not be someone you want to be with long-term, but there are people that you probably, like, flirt with or you may date. You, you may even... accumulate over the years. Yeah, you may how even many, have... How many people would you say that's been for you? I don't I don't have... I don't... That's not a part of this, 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 uh, this, <laughs> this example. But point is, what do you guys think is a, is a reasonable... How does that process work for men? So when do you... You see, okay, I like her. Because you may enjoy some of the other girls that you have... 
extra relationships with, you just may not like them enough to be your girlfriend. So what is that process like from identifying I want to be with her to cutting everyone else off to where you're not having texts that are inappropriate or, you know, text, social media conversations that are not appropriate? When can a girl expect to, you know, for all that to be out of your life? Are we talking mm. about flirting or actual relationships? I'm talking about all of it. Some there should be nothing in your phone. When when can when do you get to a point where there's nothing in your phone that that would piss your girl off? Is that ever attainable? Yes. Okay. What's um, the what's the number? Um I, I don't know. I feel like it's a it's a blurry line. Why is it blurry? I feel like it's a blurry line. Blurry shit. You about to say some blurry <laughs> because shit. Because oh, see, here we go. <laughs> um because Hello? How I want to say this. How do you want to say it? There's, well, it. I, I guess it depends on what your approach is. Like some people choose to go one by one, right? I'm going to just mm-hmm. date and focus on this person. Mm-hmm. And if it don't work out, right. all right, cool. On to the next. Right. Right. So right. if you're doing one by one, mm, sometimes, hey, they stick around. Maybe they don't, but. What do you mean? You know. That's, hold that's, on, let me finish. That's, ambigu- that's ambiguous. I don't understand. Right. That's why I said it's a blurry line. <laughs> Second, if. Wait a minute. So they never go? You said that sometimes they stick around. What does that I mean? I mean, you know, y'all trying to, sometimes it's bad timing. You're trying to figure out maybe there's something what there, maybe mean? it's not. You're talking about the dating stages, right? <laughs> we, we're, saying, going from, they, we're going from strangers to being more intimate, I right? asked you, when is a time that the, all the extra stuff is going to be gone? There's no, I, I don't feel like there's a zero timeline. When you, by the time that you actually have committed to someone, mm-hmm. then you need to, I think you got maybe, and this is. That's what I'm looking for. Come nowadays, on. I think maybe you got a week to 30 days to kind of clear okay. out. So you we know, did all that. So you got a week to 30 the remnants days after is. you decide this is the girl mm-hmm. to text the girls and CC all the girls that you CC around town. I don't know. Cause Cause I don't know. Well, let's just be for real because even the girl that you commit to is probably still going to try to go through your phone. So. I don't know what that has to do with Me either. I, what do you mean? What is, why was that relevant to this conversation? <laughs> because someone can, someone can see something in your phone. I, I do feel like. Shit. No, nah, I do feel like if you go looking for something, that. you'll that find is, something. Okay, that is not true. That is such a, that's such BS. Because if there's nothing in your phone, right, it doesn't matter who there, looks. No and one when will they look. find anything. That is mm. that is like a player line. There's nothing mm. in my phone right now. So if, so if your wife went through it, even if she's suspecting something, there would looking be nothing for, for her to find. Nothing. That is the dumbest player line ever. Mm. I. It, you can't create text. Like, a person yeah. can't be like, my intent is to find Kevin cheating. And then all of a sudden, because they... It doesn't all have to be cheating. There's nothing questionable. It doesn't have to be cheating. There's that's anything all we're talking about. in my phone. We're, that's anything saying, we're, all we're talking about is inappropriate, inappropriate conversation or, or dalliances with someone from the opposite sex. Or say, the same sex, if mm, that's your bag. I say six months. Six months is a long time. No, it's not. Six months is a, is the proper amount of time because here's the thing, right? When you're dating, I, there's no such thing as dating one woman and moving on to the next. You're, right. You're gonna forever be lonely if you do that. I don't know that. I'm not saying that you're saying you do that, but, but I think any guys that, doing that. I think that the, the 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 chance of you meeting the one every single time, right, is ridiculous. Right. So you cannot just be exclusive to one person, right? When you're dating, right. Um. So because of that, there may be overlaps of a few women or a few guys right. if it's a woman. Right. And being a mature person, I think you have to understand that sometimes people disappear for a couple of weeks mm-hmm. or a couple of months and then yeah. pop back up one yeah. night. So if I'm in bed with my woman, it's mm-hmm. been five months, right. and there's a phone call at 1 a.m., mm-hmm. and dude's like, yo, what's up? He's like, um... Uh. Yeah, she's like, should I, she's like, should I answer? Like, I was like, yeah, you might as well go and answer. What's up? Oh, I'm sitting here with my boyfriend. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, she has that opportunity to make that phone call, and I'm not tripping because, right. you know, what? What? Why was he calling now? Like, oh, well, you know, we used to date, and he probably, you know, me and him haven't yeah. talked in a while. Right. I'm giving it six months for that kind of thing to happen. Right. That that makes sense. That makes sense. Because people not do saying go she, away. Right. That you flirt with from like every couple of months, they may pop up. How, many, how often do you get a call from an old dude that used to date, you know, mess it's with so you? It's so weird. I actually got one like a couple of days ago and I hadn't talked to him in 
years. See, that's that's odd. Like, that's odd. But I'm talking about years, for so six weird. months, though. Yeah. You know, you might get somebody that you want on one date with, right. like, just trying to see how you're doing or right. whatever. That's what I'm saying. That was right. that. That's what that was. And I'm not, I'm not talking about my woman going out with other dudes. Right. You I'm just talking mean about a as far as conversation of of some type. Okay. Six months just to contact. Com- six exactly. months to completely get all of that out of your life to now right. where if something does come up, I'm asking you like, what's going on? Right. That's fair. You I think saying? that's fair. As far as putting other people out of your life, I think that that should happen immediately once you guys both right. verify that, you know, we're going to move so forward. How, okay, so, so how does that work? So if you have someone that you flirt with from time to time, you tell them, hey, me and this person, we're going to be together and we're going to have to, mm-hmm. we can't have a relationship like that anymore. Right. And then she calls my girl. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, no, because in this situation, I don't think the guy had done that. Right, he had. Obviously. But, but I think that there's, like you said, there's a time before you don't know if this is going to work. So you're like, I do want to be with her, but I don't know about just cutting all my old faithfuls off and announcing this. So I'm trying to figure out what is the appropriate time. I don't think that there's that. a time because we have to have an agreement. And right. that's when the time happens. But I feel like prior to us having that agreement, mm-hmm. I don't have to tell you if I'm dating somebody else. I agree with that. I don't I have to tell you that. what I'm doing. You could just, that's mm-hmm. just implied. It's implied that I don't ask. I, don't, I, I I'm definitely not gonna believe ask you in either. don't ask, don't tell. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But I'm, it's, 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 I don't even know if it's implied. It's just I'm not willing to, if you ask me, I'm going to say no. Oh. Just, just, yeah, don't ask. You it's none of your business. Oh. It's none of your business. It's not even a lie. It's just you don't have the right to ask me that. Well, so why don't you just say that? No, no, because that's, that's, <laughs> because, not because that's inflammatory. Yeah. That makes, that starts that's a star fight. shit. That starts a fight. Okay, but then if, okay, that, but if I ask a guy, let's just say, if you ask a guy, you're dating him for two months, and you say, are you dating anyone else? And he says no, and then I find out that he is, now we have trust issues. Oh, well, you're in the one. And then, and then in this day and age, though, side chicks last longer than actual relationships. In every day and age. They do. They every do. day and age. You can have the same side chick yeah. through four relationships. Absolutely. Yeah. Because, absolutely, you know that person a lot better. You know that person, You it's, it's, it's just like friends, like you... You become a friend with the side chick. You hook or a up with them when they when they're out of a relationship and you're yeah. out of a relationship. Y'all are both out of a relationship now. Y'all together for a little. I while. had a chick that would hit me like every two years and just be like, <laughs> "Hey, you, you had me some step kids yet?" Damn, she's, checking the, she's just checking back. When to last see. time she right. called? <laughs> <laughs> she's just checking back to see where you're at. I probably just spoke up too. Now, right. damn. I don't know because it, right. I think that in a lot of cases, guys never really make those hard. Breaks. Like say that I think yeah. I don't agree. Mm-hmm. I, I, no, no, I, no. I I'm just saying as far as like with the phone because I think now is a time when people because of social media, even if a person is not calling you, they may DM you. I think there's a lot of inappropriate I got a conversations friend that going never on. Never tells a girl they're done. Yeah, I, I think most guys don't. And and is willing to call any of them. <laughs> as, you know, a one lonely night, just one lonely yeah. night. His girlfriend is somewhere mm-hmm. else, and uh, and yeah. don't have a fight because then a guy is single. Like we had a fight. I'm going out. It's all open. I don't even think it, that that's that's not I even. I think women do that though. If, if y'all oh, have yeah. a fight, oh, Martin yeah, said it you, you hit that dick in the glass. Yeah, oh, yeah. I don't think so. y'all go not, break not that glass. Not actually to the sex, but you uh-huh. may. I'm, I'll be honest. You don't have sex with someone, but you do. There are always guys that you know that are your friends, but like you, and you may, you know, entertain his compliments more. Because you need that for your self esteem. Because you're mad at your boyfriend. I don't that's mind. Good. That. I, I don't. That's I don't. That's a I, good healthy thing. Flirting is as a is a mm. flirting is not a big deal to me as long as it's there's you know. And I did a premium for the listeners who are premium subscribers to No Nonsense Show. I did a me and my wife did a premium about this, mm-hmm. and um, what we came down to was basically as long as the flirting isn't on your side, the the married side person. Mm-hmm, right. The, the single side person can say something like, oh, you look beautiful today. Right. That's fine. Like, right. like He's single. You right. know what I'm saying? So whatever. Right. But if there's ever a time where she's like, well, and if she says back to him, you look good too or whatever, mm-hmm. that's cool. Right. But if she ever says something like, um, to a, like say a guy's a, a trainer or something mm-hmm. and, and she's like on his page and she's like, uh, he said something like, good morning, beautiful. You looking good since you've been working. Out. He's like, you look good too. I wish my husband looked like that. Well, who would say that? I, I mean, that, who would actually say yeah, that? That's, that's, Do people say that? That's ridiculous. I have that's, seen some. I wouldn't be surprised. That's, that's a, someone that's not in a real relationship. That's crazy. It's some wild folks that? out there. Somebody my, said that shit. My thing is, don't ever, don't ever include me in the flirting. I'm with you. That's whack. Once that it is, comes to the point where, like, disrespectful. Where, yeah. where he says something about me, right? 
You shut that done. down. You shut you that say, down. You say something about me. Right. Done. That yeah. should never be in your. Flirting. I agree with you. I saying I agree somebody with you is attractive that. or cute. Yeah, that has cool. nothing to do with me. But if you said, "I wish my girl's ass looked like that," you see oh, what I'm saying? Oh. I'm trying to get my girl to do her doing <laughs> some to, squats. I got you see what I'm saying? You yeah, see, I, see yeah. I, guys have you, said, now you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. guys have that said disrespectful. So that you admit like that. that happens, then, right? Yeah, guys do say disrespectful. I wish my girl. What what kind of squats you doing? I need my girl to get like that. No, nigga. Now what guys do a lot is they'll be like. I get this all the time. If I go someplace and my car is like messy, why you man don't wash your car? I don't know. He just hasn't. But that's the first. I would level. wash right. I, if I man, if my my lady, I would never have my lady's car look like that. Hey, oh, a dude, okay. a dude will check you on that shit. Let you need a let you need something done or a mm-hmm. flat tire or whatever. A dude yeah. would be like, real quick, where your man at? Where your man he, that nigga can't do it. Where your man at? That yeah. nigga ain't never changed no oil. That nigga don't know. There's a lot about- of guys that do change oil. I do, but I'm saying every time I my every car has ever been messed all. up, every time my car has ever broken down, a guy has always fixed it. It's amazing. I don't know any you women can just mechanics. Go though. to the no. I'm just saying. Even I've just when I <laughs> you just be out somewhere. I'll be like at the gas station for, in my car. No, I'm not flirting. I'm just sitting there, and, I, and a guy would come over and be like, "What's going on?" It's like yeah, they just you, spring I into your, action. I hear your timing belt is a little whiny. <laughs> they spring into action. Yeah, yeah and to get they that always ass. be like, "Man, when you're man, you know, like, they always throw a little shade. If you have a boyfriend, they throw a, a little shade. A ball, where your man at? I ain't trying to put this work in. It ain't. I don't even say that. It ain't no chance or nothing on the other end. They don't say that. That's that would be why. A ball told us, man. No, every dude says that. They don't say it in that way. They don't say it. To Every me. dude says that. Just, I'm, I'm okay with flirting though. So yeah. we're talking about the hard lines between women. So if I was to say, yeah, he ain't shit, then that would Too be much. like over. Yeah, yeah. yeah I would never say that. Like you would never. Even so if flirting, I thought that I, would I don't never care say if that. that happens forever. I want right. my wife to be flirty because she okay. got to stay sharp. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Stay feminine. Stay, yeah, stay, yeah, stay sharp. And it, it's nothing wrong with dude giving your your wife compliments. But right? okay, let me ask you this: if a if a married man say there's a married man that is you know attractive and he's flirty with women, which a lot of them are. Pretty much okay. most of them are. It, that sends a signal that he is open. No, right? it doesn't. What do you mean? Inviting you to my bedroom is a signal that I'm open. Flirting is just is innocent. And I mean, there is some... It can be, but it, it can, it can lead to... It can open a door. And I'm saying as a single person, mm-hmm. if, a, if a married guy is constantly telling me how good I look, mm-hmm. I'm going to be like... I'm thinking in my head that I could probably like... Okay, so constantly, what are we talking about here? See, like all the time, like repetitively. That, like whenever on. you see him, he's come giving on, you a, a compliment on your body or something. Like that's not really... Girl, my, I'm sure females do it too. My wife said that she doesn't want me to ever give a sexual compliment. Okay, that's that's fair. So saying someone is a woman is pretty or her hair looks nice is it's one different thing. than but that saying, ass. Like, yeah, like damn that 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 ass. Yeah, that's different. Yeah. Right. Okay, so that's that, so that's that allows for more safety because if a guy says you look pretty, that is very right. It's it's it's, it's harmless. But if he's like, mm, if a dang. single dude says that to you, fine. Mm-hmm. But if you say, if you as a married woman say that to a guy, like, oh my god, yeah, nah, that's a problem. too much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're yeah. going too far as a married person. What right. about what about when women uh, like? Do you like your wife to ogle celebrities? I don't like, like it, but it, she does. It just elbow say Michael ogle. B. Jordan or somebody. She, Michael B. He, Jordan is the nigga. I don't say when, ogle. That's he what said he said. Ogle. I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say it's ogle. The shirt. Yeah. But I do. I like it. No, I hate that shit. But you know. Why? The girl's like, Idris sure. Elba. Mm. Yeah, she likes Idris Elba, too. She likes Idris Elba. Why, why, why do you guys not like us to look at men, but you all like to look at women? Like, we're... Fuck it. I okay. Don't. All right, as long as you're going to admit the hypocrisy, yeah. I'm cool. <laughs> right. I don't, I'm not mad. And I, I know it's wrong. I get so upset. Don't it's care. like, oh my God, it's... Huh. All right. Don't and care. And it's like, y'all well, do it all day long. Instagram is full of naked women. It's a few men. We got a few contenders, and you guys hate on them. You've named almost all of them. Okay. Damn near all of them. And I remember we were watching. We were, we were. Where were we at? We were watching a Tyler Perry movie of all places. I don't know how I got drugged. Yeah, how into was that happened for you? No, but the uh, Janet Jackson killed her husband. Oh uh, yeah, why did and, I get married too? And then Rock popped up on the screen. I was like, mm-hmm. I was like, what the fuck? I looked at like, what's wrong with you? No, it was just a shock. I didn't know he was gonna be in the movie. I was like, no, that's not what happened. Right. I was like, what the hell? Man. Man. <laughs> yeah, I she was what trying you to meant. be respectful. Right. Yeah. She was trying to be respectful. Whatever. It's it's cute. I'm not mad yeah, at my I wife. Mean, for it. People usually have like a, a get out of jail free card. Like, you know. As long as if Denzel Rihanna came Washington. to town and wanted to fuck me for some crazy reason, right, right, she's right, like, right. hey, babe, if you fuck her, you know, hey, that's Rihanna. I can't hold that against I you. I would have fucked her too. That's what she probably would say. You got a great situation. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I I just think. I, can that- you picture yourself come home? Hey, baby. Um, <laughs> So I met Rihanna today. <laughs> you ain't got to say it like that. Why hey, you, if uh, you say it like that, you're going to get fucked up. You got to say it like, <laughs> hey, I fucked like, Rihanna. If you ask, you, you, know if you I, ask, you're always going to get told no. Like, eh, yeah. excuse me. Eh. I'll be, like, eh. I just be, I be eating dinner. You know I fucked Rihanna today. <laughs> <laughs> 
So how was your day? <laughs> well, uh, you know, got off work for Rihanna and uh, took the young came on home. Uh, right. Well, matter of fact, right, right, right. <laughs> but specifically to your point, though, I think that there does have to be a hard line, and that hard line right. should be immediate. Right. And once you agree, once you agree to that yeah. situation, once you agree that you're going to do this immediate, as far as a, a, a every now and then text or a phone mm-hmm. call at one a.m., right. you can't control who's you can't in control your that. Phone. But what about people that ha- that don't want their significant other? Because now with social media, people there are some couples that have access to each other's passwords. Like I, I interviewed Waka Flock and his wife, and she and there had been past you know infidelity, and she said now she has access to his. His passwords and you know how do you guys feel about that? Should you be able to if your significant other is always hiding their phone? What do you think about that? Same friend, mm. same friend mm-hmm. has an Android phone and on Android phones you can turn it silent, right, to where it doesn't make any noise, exactly. it doesn't light, it doesn't do it. Mm-hmm. If you're not looking at it, you don't know it's ringing, right? That's his mode, <laughs> and um, I think that's whack. Yeah, I think that's whack. You have something to hide. I think that's whack. Yeah. No, no silence. So you saying Android phones are for cheaters? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why people only Cheater, date. cheaters that's and broke why people, people date oh, iPhone only. Cheaters and broke people. That's what Android phones are for. <laughs> I I stand behind that. I stand behind that because iPhone, the message coming in, you see it. It's gonna it make goes, a It's gonna do something. <laughs> mm-hmm. Crystal never turns her alerts off. That's why we hear them all throughout the show. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm not down with that. That hiding your phone shit, putting yeah. it in a drawer. Like, nah, bro. If if you got yeah. my phone, I can leave my phone. Any, I can I can go inside a store and leave my phone in the car. Right. You know what I'm saying? I think Playing if, if, music. if you're in a relationship where you have nothing to hide, that should be the case. But the contents are hidden, or your phone is turned over, or your same you, guy. You, I do think deception is a felony, though. Like, yeah. Anytime you, yeah. except for when you're anything. just dating and she asks you, "Are you with somebody?" You say no. I think that's just that's just how you're that's supposed to do it. it. Easy deception early on. Well, it's just none of her damn business. But you should tell her that. Though. Nope, nope. I'm not trying. I don't have. I don't have to explain to you why I have another woman. You're not important enough yet. Why no. are you making that uh, woman so important? Here's here's my here's my comeback to that one. All right, right. As much as I agree with you, I'm going to disagree with you on this. Right. Okay. Because I feel like like a lie of omission, especially women are good at this. Women, say, oh well, I just didn't, I didn't think to tell you. Be, they purposely leave shit out that they think that you should know. Right. Right, Crystal. I don't know what you guys are talking. Uh huh. <laughs> that, that ain't why you just looked at the camera. Uh huh. So, say for example, a transgender. Mm-hmm. You don't get to just leave out the fact that you was born a man. That needs to be that's, up front. That's pretty fucking different. <laughs> I must say myself. That's, I did not uh, see that's that pretty coming. I'm a call. I'm, I, I did not I'm see just, that coming. I'm, I'm just putting it all in the basket. I, I, I have it's sex. It's all a deception. I have sex with other people sometimes. Oh, by the way, I also used to have a dick. That is not the same thing. <laughs> that did. Hey. I did not see that. This, this you better not I'm, ever tell me. Well, that's you know what that's the thing. A lot of transgender don't, don't transgenders don't believe they should have to tell you. Better not. Just keep it. A nah, secret. that's that bullshit. I mean, if, if you don't know, you don't know. What you, what you don't know won't hurt you. You nah, guys nah, nah. always want to end the show on some some shit that's gonna get us canceled. We I I said nothing offensive. I just said a lot of transgenders feel like they should not have to reveal. I know actually men that they're bisexual that feel like they should not have to reveal that they. Sleep with both sexes. I don't think they should either. What, what does that mean? What do you? I, what do you? What is that? What do you? How do you tell somebody that? If if you care, what? if how do you, you care tell about this that? person, I think if you care about that this is... person, you should share certain truths. Yeah. If you were born of a different gender, <laughs> if you have a sexually transmitted disease, right? Right. I right. think those are things that the other person is going to want to know and may so, affect their decision on yeah, continuing to date you. Know, oh, that's valid. Wait, what point are we talking? Are we talking about the point? Because I thought we were all only talking about prior to making that commitment. Yeah, I want to know all that information first. You think that somebody knows needs to know whether or not you have sex with other women or whatever before? Yes. So you think that it's my right to know if my woman has, has had a homosexual encounter with another woman? Yes. And when we're just in that dating phase? Yes. That's none of my mm-hmm. business. It is my business. That's it is my, my business. business. And I don't. I I I want to know. I think that's horrible for for people. Let me know what I'm getting. That, what I'm getting myself that DL into. Come on, man. You're not getting. Not cool. You're yeah, not getting. Yeah. I want to know but what I'm getting myself someone. into. You guys could be kissing. The I don't rules wanna... are much different for us. I would have to say. So for like for a woman to, to be bisexual and not tell us, that's a little different than a guy to be bisexual and not want tell that. you. Yeah, but, but I think we should just all abide you by the rules. So so maybe maybe the reason why I'm light on it is because a woman having really sex a, with a you're, woman. You're kind of excited about that. No, not necessarily, but you know, it, 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 it's not going to change your. It's I not going to make you one, not want to. No, I got two. That's not. For me, it would be a, it would be a difference. I don't want to date a bisexual man. Right. Or one that has been bisexual. Right. Right. Uh, yeah, the rules are totally different, so I can't even pretend to, to say that's the same. That's what I'm saying. If if it's something that 
may affect my decision right. on whether or not I continue with you. So I'm a whole then that baby. I, I know guys to... that have lied about having a whole no, child. No, you don't deserve to know shit about my kids. You don't, How no. many you have? You don't need to know That's, that. But None those of your are like business. first conversations. I have four no, kids. I have two dating. kids. You're not, we're not, you're not my what wife. What are you talking about I don't even then? know if I like you enough to even make what you a girlfriend. What are you discussing? We're That's discussing how you get to know a person. We, no. no, we're not. No, I, you no. know what? You're not. You don't deserve the right to know anything about my life other than what I tell you until we have well, agreed that we're going to be. married. I'm, I'm, and I'm, I, you know, I'm believing. And it's that you're not lying. It's just you don't have the right to know. You know how many of y'all are shady? Like some of y'all just date dudes just because of what the story is. That, that, I'm not telling you the story you want to hear. How many children you have is very important about how. Nope. The, the, nope. Nope. It's not that it don't have nothing to do with so our, basically they don't have nothing to do with our present. It has to do with our future. But you might not be my future. I might just be trying to fuck. But that's still but, but how many even kids that, you have is still a you part say of say that up front. Hey, look, I'm just trying to fuck. But I'm you're only just gonna getting be to know here. the person. So so what if she has either. five kids at the house? You're cool with that? If she got five? Yeah. What does it got to do with me? If I'm not you, taking care of her. But what if you're getting to know her? That's something that you need to know. That but, that package comes along with her. What right. is wrong with you? When no. y'all negotiate the terms of of the situation, that, right? That goes if into, it's going to be a relationship, or y'all just yeah, fucking, but that, or me, that just in, flirt to, friends. To me, that goes into work that. If husbands. He ha, if he has five kids, I'm probably not going to want to be in a relationship with him. So I need to know that information up front. I'm not. I'm. I, I, that's going to shut the conversation off quick. Mm. I don't want to know it. I mean, I don't want to do it. So I think you have to have information so that you can make an educated decision. I fall in love, been dating this guy six six months, and he's like, by the way, I have five kids, and they're all under the age of 15. He's a good dad. I'm that's like that, that video. He's good being a dad, I I'm going to disappear. Okay. Mm, hey, that's Pastor, just like that video. That, I wasted six months. That woman that, it was some video on the internet where the guy had chased this woman down to try to holler at her, and she turned around and was like, look, I got six, seven kids. Jesus okay, Christ. so what you want to do? Hey, thanks for letting me know. <laughs> well, we hope you guys are having better dating experiences than, than these guys are suggesting. Anyway, if you enjoyed this broadcast, please like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Let's put please on don't the voice. Re- please don't report us to any... Anyway. Any groups? Beyond's uh, <laughs> already got uh, some fat girls leaving angry comments. I don't care. Fat girls I don't LGBT care. LGBT or you're, Beyonce or the Beehive. You're not going to. You're be not going to make me believe that you can be that out of shape and be in shape at the same time. We're going to talk Music about Music Love this later. Life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like, share, and subscribe. Music Love Life.